We have a special treat uh, today, and I think you folks are going to agree with it. We've got a, a subject I think that's, that most everybody likes. They always say that uh, there's two things you can't compete with in show business. One is, one is a dog and one is a child, because they seem to take over. They take over the theater, they take over the stage, they take care of every, over your heart. With that, I want to introduce a man that I had the pleasure of meeting just today. His name is Irv Lander. Irv, nice to have my you pleasure, here on Bob. the Great Day Show. Right. My You've been on a lot of shows. I've been on about 50 shows around the country. I've never met a man with the wit that you have, though. I'm the ready wit. That. You want to repeat that again? I'm not, uh, so, somebody might have, might have missed that. You want me to write it down for your wife? Yeah, friend? write it down. Write it. My wife knows it. In fact, she has to write it 500 times <laughs> in order to get an address. You know, I, my husband is a great wit. Well, anyway, but she's got a couple of dresses. She also has a sore arm. Uh, with that, I want to say something about this uh, subject that we're going to talk about, and that is uh, the dogs, mm -hmm. special kind of dogs, special breeds of dogs that do special things. And before we go any further, let's have that little clip, and then we'll have something to talk about. Fine. Right, Irv? Yes, I'd like to see that. Now, this is the incredible Ashley Whippet. He was a three-time world champion. Uh, he... He's winning his third world championship. And he just soars through the air with grace. He never comes down to the earth ungracefully. And he doesn't fall down. He, no, he, he just lands. sets down like a falling leaf. And he seems to defy gravity. Uh, there'll never be another one like him. And, and It's a kind of a special breed. Well, he is a whippet, which is a kind of a small greyhound. But our competition, the Gaines Cycle Ashley Whippet Invitational, is not for just whippets. And I want to set the record straight on that. It is open to any breed of dog, uh, any size. We've had them from St. Bernard's to Chihuahuas. Yeah, St. Bernard can jump up. Honest to God, I saw one in Baltimore, and I couldn't believe my eyes. He soared into the air, caught the frisbee every time. That big ball of fur flying in the air. 180 pounds hurtling into space like a missile. Man's best friend. Man's huh? best friend. Well, the best friend he carries with him. That's the best part. That's the best friend. That's true. That's the little barrel. That the little jug, jug right? Yeah, yeah for That's sure. That's for the Irishman. Right. But... Uh, Ashley happened to be a whippet, and because of his greatness, uh, his legacy, he passed away last year. Oh, uh, well, did he die of old age? Or he died of old age. Curious. He died of old age. Uh, he had a glorious life, and in his honor, we named the Ashley Whippet Invitational after him, and Gaines uh, Dog Food uh, sponsors this competition because they share America's love for dogs. You know, there's a great love affair with dogs in this country. Millions and millions of dogs. And I mean, people that make the Gaines food. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this. This sounds like a commercial, so be it. But he, uh, the Gaines company, has an affair with dogs, even though they're in the business of feeding dogs and selling food for dogs. They still love them. Well, they have they have a lot of vision. In other words, they realize that, uh, like say, man does not live by bread alone. Dog do not live by dog food alone, right? Yeah. You have to think in terms of their physical fitness. So you have to have nutritionally balanced food. That do they takes have scientists, you know, these guys with they the do. white coats and the, and the uh, pen in the pocket and everything? With Absolutely. The strange looking hat and well, everything. Well, I don't know about the hats. He's got something over his head, so right. he's looking, he wants to look official. You mean they do the same thing for dogs as you do for humans? Probably. Balance out that food? I would think, actually, that they're more scrupulous about the dogs, to be honest with you, because people. Uh, you know, dogs have to depend on humans to feed them, by and large. I'm talking about pets. So therefore, they don't pick and choose. Uh, a person has the option and the right to go out and eat junk read food if they want to. Yeah, read right? a menu. Sure. Or re eat junk food if they like. Yeah. So if you want your dog to be healthy, you've got to get uh, a nutritionally balanced food. And so people like Gaines have to be very careful. They have to uh, develop uh, nutritionally balanced foods and with vitamins, minerals, protein, the right balance. And they even have it for each stage of a dog's life. For example, if you get a puppy, puppy food, you have the cycle one. Yeah. Then when the dog's a little older, till about age six or seven, you feed it cycle two because it's more active. Will the dog cooperate with you? Well, you tell him, listen, buddy, you better eat or yeah, else. You don't show him the menu. I mean, no, of course you can. Not. You say, this is for you, trust me, don't you? And the dog goes along. But uh, in, in addition to that, I think that the people at Gaines really share Americans' love for dogs because they, they have an obedience competition. 
Uh, they are really trying to show people that if they want to love dogs, that they have a, uh, uh, an affinity with the Gaines philosophy. Mm -hmm. So they sponsor this competition. It's free. Anyone can enter. All they have to do is come down to the, uh, for example, uh, July 12th, Saturday. They come to Martin Luther King Park. They Say that again. Martin, Martin Luther King Luther Park. Park. And that's on 12th and Voigt Street, yes. I believe. You show up, you get a beautiful T-shirt, you see a cycle dog. Well, I like that. Very close to this. Yeah. Uh, this is the designer model we use on television. I yeah. must tell you. It's great stuff, yeah. Right. And uh, they also get the supply of Frisbee discs they use, the authentic ones. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is show up with the dog. And we have had, uh, we had in uh, Los Angeles last week, we had a fellow who was 67 years old, showed up with two dogs, a Weimar Honor and a Poodle. And he had a ball. He had a great time. He didn't win, but he told me it was one of the most joyous experiences of his life. He said, I'll be back next year, and I'm going to win it all. You know, if I don't squeeze this in, I'll be sorry about that. But I want to say this. The people on television, like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, show, they don't fake this. They really and truly like animals, like dogs. Len Green advertises oh, he loves dogs. dogs. He's got to, and I think there's a number, another, another great big guy. That, uh, Bob Barker, who's a friend yeah, of mine, uh, of Bob him. Barker is crazy about dogs. Yeah. He has the only breed of dog that will never leap off ground and catch a frisbee. Can you guess what that is? What? Bat hounds. They won't do it? No, they'll look up at it, but they won't. You know, we've got a break coming out, and if I don't uh, take care of that, I'll be in trouble. You're so right. stay with us. We'll be back to hear some more, and you'll get a chance to hear some more from Irv Lander, who's involved with, the, with this. We'll get a chance to meet the dog, too. Wouldn't that be Definitely. So stay with us. Don't tune us out. Pleasure to have. Thank you. I tell you, this is uh, probably the 